Hey everyone, my name is Sean Cecil from the Oculus Institute. And today, I'm gonna to give you some signs of professional abuse and how you should handle it. Okay, so uh, abuse is a very serious word, right? Um, you know, people talk about domestic abuse, they, they think physical, you know, there's also verbal abuse. Um, but I have seen situations with clients that I would characterize as professional abuse. These are situations where, um, you know, people are in a situation that uh, no human being should be treating another human being like this. It's not serving any benefit to the company or to the relationship, and it's taking a, a significant toll on the mental health of the employees. So I want to give you guys some examples of what this looks like so that you understand what's going on and then what you need to do if you're in this situation. So one example that I had of professional abuse was a client who came to me where her boss was pressuring her to sign financial statements that were not accurate and legal. So he was, he was pressuring her to be an accomplice in his violation of the law, right? This is professional abuse. And she came to me, and most people who are in professional abuse situations, by the way, the reason they're still there is because there are issues around codependency, there are issues around self-worth, there are issues around, you know, um, fear of, oh my God, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do if I don't have this job? So there, there's all kinds of psychological stuff, which, which we'll talk about, right? But she came to me and she was like, Sean, I don't know how to handle this situation. And I was like, well, the way you handle the situation is simple. You tell him to stick it. And you tell him that if he continues to go down this path, that you're gonna report him to the IRS, <laughs> right? You, you're very serious about that, right? That's an example of professional abuse. And he was screaming at her. He was screaming at her, you need to do this, you need to do that, right? Trying to intimidate her. Right? And, and that's another example. Anytime you ever have somebody who is screaming at you in an attempt to intimidate you in a professional environment, that's professional abuse. The other situation where you can have professional abuse is where you have it, um, it may not be as outward and as external, but it's very manipulative, right? So for example, I used to work for in, in finance and my boss would structure situations where he was making all of the major decisions and then he was holding me responsible when things failed. And he was taking credit when things went right. And then he, you know, and, and, and he would he would think of barbs in situations where, like, if I resisted this, he would think of barbs to try to dig at my self-esteem in some way, right? And then it was also mixed with a, a bipolar thing where, like, you know, he'd come in one week and he'd be like, Sean, you're the most talented person I've ever worked with. Bar and mortality will be working together for, for, for ages, for decades. You know, and then three days later, he'd come in and tell me I was a worthless piece of shit who never accomplished anything, right? So that kind of like psychological manipulation, screwing with your sense of reality kind of thing, that's also professional abuse. And then, of course, you obviously you have, um, you know, if somebody's pressuring for a sexual quid, quid pro quo, anything along those lines, you know, um, that's professional abuse. So we're talking about some pretty extreme scenarios, but these are scenarios that I found, right? Um, there are other scenarios where employees aren't setting boundaries and, you know, people are working long hours or, or not great working conditions or that kind of stuff. That's not professional abuse, right? That's just, you know, the, the terms of either the, the job is not a great job or the employee is not drawing boundaries to the point that, you know, they, they have a job, they, the, the job is mutated into something that it shouldn't be. That, those are not professional abuse situations, right? What I've described when you have intimidation, manipulation, um, sexual pressure, you know, illegality. These are things that are professional abuse situations. And if you're in that situation, then there is only one appropriate response. And that is you need to get out of there as soon as possible, right? The reason that people stay in these situations is because, you know, they say, oh, well, you know, I feel like I've failed, right? And they make it about them or some kind of ego thing, or they go into a panic of, oh, I don't know what, what I'm gonna do for money, right? And it's like, okay, well, you know, you go start finding another thing. You start putting job applications out there. You line something up before you leave, right? In many cases, people won't even do that because they're so scared of, of, of the situation. They go into this very like freeze kind of thing, right? Um, and again, it's often tied to, you know, self-worth. Then they start saying, oh, well, maybe I'm the problem. Right? No, if somebody's engaging in, in those kinds of behaviors I described, I promise you, you are not the problem. They are the problem, right? And you just need to get out of there. So watch for signs of professional abuse. If you see any of this, any of this in your job, you need to start looking for something better immediately. Do not wait, do not pass go, do not collect $200. Just go start putting some applications out there, get a better job, 
get out of there. And if they're doing something illegal, report them to the authorities. Have a good day, guys. And hopefully you guys never need this video, but if you do, you know what to refer to. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's something that resonated with you, maybe a new connection that you made or, or some information that shifted your perspective, if you found value here, then I wanna give you one last gift. So I've put together a free diagnostic that I call a checkup with the career doctor. Short list of questions, and as you answer them, it's gonna give you a readout of where you stand on the important metrics of career fulfillment, right? How happy are you with your job and how good a fit is it? right? Financial success, which we all know, and then internal alignment, which is your level of inner peace and the inner resources that you have to bring to creating the life that you want. Additionally, it's also going to show you which areas you can improve on to, to get those metrics moving in the right direction, as well as how can we at the Oculus Institute help you make progress. So it's totally free, 100%. All you have to do is just go to www.oculusinstitute.com slash purpose quiz, right? Um, no spaces, no dashes, just oculusinstitute.com. That's O-C-U-L-U-S-I-N-S-T-I-T-U-T-E.com slash purpose quiz. Um, and you can take it totally for free. Uh, you'll get a free report sent to you. And then at the end, it will give you some next steps of what you can do to reach out so that we can help you create the career of your